Today is my birthday. I'm 27 now. My taste in media changed considerably. So I didn't really trust any of my old scores or old opinions or old favorites. I got real into smoking weed and watching anime movies, and my taste kind of shifted again. It's hard to say how much of it was just the weed talking, because I gave a lot of tens, mostly on the basis of aesthetics, and my mal became a total clusterfuck, because I'm not really comparing things against each other anymore. It's been long enough since then that I'm not sure about the score anymore. Tone whiplashes are the point, and they're never done badly. There's nothing special about being able to tell a story. Just look at the meta. I followed my heart just on the basis of what do I think are my favorite anime. Looking at even clips of it feels so good. It is still aesthetically pleasing to revisit. Haruhi, the character, I related to her very strongly as somebody who felt like is God and everything fucking bends to my will. So often things do go my way because I approach life with that confident mindset. Watching the show itself, it's not great. It's not because the show is good, it's because it makes me think about something. It's got a lot of fluff. The characters aren't well written or well realized. Like, it feels very light novel trash. It's definitely the best isekai show. I don't think all of the Kara no Kyokai films are necessarily amazing or even that they were all necessary, but like the fifth and seventh are so much more interesting than the others that they really carry the entire thing. Like, it's kind of how my mind works. It's pretty pretentious, I'm not gonna lie, but it stays on my list. I realize I'm being vague as fuck, but a lot of these I have not watched in some time. Garzy's Wing! Just watch the first episode drunk with some friends and appreciate that you are watching The Room of Anime. What made Psychopath so exciting was the society is bad and the, the civil system is bad, and that's what makes it so fucking interesting. It's so fucking dense, there's so much going on in every single image. A lot of people don't like Renton as a protagonist because they think he's a weak little bitch. That's what makes it great! The thing about Kaon is that it is the most beautiful expression of how a group forms a dynamic and an identity through each other. I'm gonna phone it in today and do an easy video that you'll watch anyways because it's all anybody actually cares about.